boy, good boy, good boy. That's what we're sensitive. Yeah. He really is, hey. When I try and train as he does, he gets really taken all personally and he thinks, why don't you like me? So every time you turn your feet short, you can look at him. I take him to see if he's got for another little walk. Come on, Murphy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. What's this? What's this? Um, this is Murphy, right? Um, we're going to have to be really relaxed today for this guy. Because um, he gets a bit hyped up and he gets these fears in him about that he's going to be taken away from the people he's with, okay? Um, if you look at Murphy, he's like, come here Murphy, good boy, what a clever boy, what a good boy. Um, he's oversensitive, he's shaking a little, okay? He's not afraid, nor he's not being aggressive, he's just been confused. I done a little sniff testing him a second ago. I don't know if he caught that. Oh, misfortune, right? And he really accelerated backwards away from me, trying to. And his problem seems to be that when he meets other dogs, he kind of goes in and says a lot too, too much. And I'm guessing the other dogs know what kind of a dog he is and become a little afraid and they're kind of reacting in aggression and of course Murphy then decides well if you're going to use aggression and I was going to be happy first I'll use aggression too um, I do not believe in any way shape or form that this dog is aggressive towards other dogs so I'm just looking at the dog over here where's the dog Murphy? Where's the dog, dude? He's going to pass over the road, yeah. Oh, where's the dog, dude? Walking. Walking back here, I guess. Good boy, Good boy. We're going to need to get another dog to come along in a little while. We've got another dog coming. But what I'm doing now is preparing him for the other dog, okay? And I'm teaching him. You might want to get off. Good boy, Marcus. Good boy. I'm teaching him to stay out of my space, okay? Because once he respects my space, he'll respect me. And then he'll respect the space of other dogs around him. Now, I don't want to wire him up too much, and there isn't another dog here yet, so I'm just going to bring him back over. Oh, there's one there. Let's walk up with him. I'm going to keep saying stuff like, where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog, Murphy? Where's the dog? You know, that's kind of like loose leash. Kind of relaxed, so... I need to sing a little. And what's he going to do with Johnny past this dog? Back. Back. Good morning, madam. How are you? You've been morning for a walk. Good boy. Good boy. That's only another dog. So you don't pay any attention to that, Murphy? Good boy. You sit. That's what you do when you see other dogs. Because the thing about it is, right? They're going to... No, no, it's okay. Look, the thing about it is, they're going to think that you're, that you're aggressive towards them. And everyone knows you're not. So all you've got to do is chill out. All right? Good boy. Good boy. What a clever boy. Back. Back, Murphy. Good boy. Um, I've often said about these kind of dogs, that really isn't the fighting ability in them at all. It's that super sensitivity. And without using aggression, we can turn that off very easily. We know that they're very good at doing the aggression. We want to make them very good at using their sensitive side to totally relax them down. Um, we might take a little break, okay? Because we haven't got another dog here just now. And we kind of want this to kind of roll around for you and not go on too long. So we'll take a little break here.